factors determine the GDP? There are four major factors. Personal consumption, private investment, net exports, and government spending. Let's walk through each one of those. Let's start with personal consumption. Personal consumption includes purchases of consumer goods like food, gasoline, and clothing, and accounts for the majority of spending in the country. Even though the GDP is contracted, personal consumption actually rose over the past three months, um, the first quarter of 2009, that is. This means that consumers, people like you and me, have actually been spending more money. Now that's a little bit counterintuitive. You're probably wondering why is that happening if, if people are spending more? Where is the contraction? Well, that's a good question. The real contraction in the economy occurred in private investment. Private investment is money spent on larger, longer-term goods, things like houses, factories, and business development projects. Clearly, people are scared. They haven't shut down their short-term spending. They still need to buy food and clothes. But they want to hold off on their long-term decisions until things look a little bit clearer. The third factor is net exports. Net exports is simply the difference between our exports and our imports. The United States has typically imported more than it exports, so this factor is usually a negative. However, net exports has not been significantly affected by the credit crisis. This brings us to the last factor in GDP, which is government spending. Now, the Obama administration has flooded the economy with an economic stimulus package. This money, along with spending on Social Security, Medicare, Defense, and other government programs, makes up the government spending component of GDP. Now, let's think about what this all means. So if you add these four categories together, you get the total GDP of the United States. The most important takeaway here is that, as we mentioned, personal consumption hasn't really shrunk. Government spending might have increased a little bit, um, but the real contraction has occurred in private investment. People are not making long-term bets, long-term bets on the growth of the economy. They're still eating out, still driving their cars, still going to the movies, but they're not buying new homes. They're not investing in new factories. And this does carry many economic risks. But by understanding this, you can, you can see how the economy is affected by the credit crisis and which parts of the economy um, are holding up better than others. Hope this video has helped you understand the basics of the GDP. Thank you very much.